<laughs> long time no see it's been a hot minute uh so the channel is kind of dead and a lot of it has to do with i changed jobs and then it also has to do with uh making the videos were just slowing me down i got super busy in here so they just kind of died off um i appreciate everybody that stuck with me so what i'm going to try to do is uh start making some quicker videos when i am able to instead of the other stuff uh, i got one bill coming up the the guy that asked me to make it he wants me to do a video on it and since i'm a school teacher now i'll be off during the summer so why not we'll make a video about building that guitar so look forward to that well we got on the bench today it's quick repair on a uh, bass guitar uh, andrew is the owner and he's the bass player for a band called treaty oak revival and i know the guy and he's an, he's an awesome dude and uh he's an aggressive player and a high energy band and he hit his uh bass and cracked the crap out of it it's a semi hollow body so that's what we're gonna fix today i'll quit babbling on because i got crap to do appreciate you guys hanging around peace all right so you can see the crack right here and how i'm gonna go about this is and i've, I've thought this out for a while because it's kind of a weird spot so we're going to inject some glue that I thinned just a little bit with just a little bit of water. And we're going to inject some glue down into this crack and pull it out a little or I can get it down in there. And then once the glue's inside, then we are going to lift up on it with a finger. And then we're going to use these wedges that I have made that fit in strategic places in order to uh, do the clamps. Then once we get all of the surface flat by using these c clamps i'm going to work this one in and i'm going to pull that down and everything's flat and then i'm going to let that dry and then i'm going to go in and put uh, some cleats inside here and what this is is double stick tape so it'll stick to the c clamp like so i'll put the glue on there work it in it's going to be a royal pain in the butt but uh first thing we're going to do is get the glue and, and get the crack glued up and then we'll worry about the cleats after we do that so um we'll pull a little bit of this into the syringe hopefully i uh, probably just got to pour it in because i need it to be thin enough to go down but in there but i also uh don't want it so soupy that it just runs right out and it ain't gonna take a whole lot, so uh, I don't even know if y'all can see that. It's been so long since I made a video, like I said earlier, and uh, all right. Now, <clears throat> Andrew told me he didn't want me to do anything with the finish. Uh, he likes it the way it is, so. I'm going to try to keep all of this glue. I'm going to clean that up naturally, but all right, now I'm going to take my finger, my thumb, and I'm going to push it. And then I'm going to work this back and forth. Pray to God it don't break, which it's not going to. All right, so now put a little bit of water on a rag, clean up, squeeze out. Right, and then we'll get our first wedge. And see, that, that's excellent because you can see it all squeeze out. Well, I hope you can. And then we will take this uh, 
So now what I got to do is get this in like so. And I, I always like to do a dry run. And then I'm going to run it up and we'll put it like so. So now that it's in there, I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to put the glue on there uh, while it's in there. And then um, we'll run it uh, up. Now this, so then, so that cleats at a forty-five degree angle to the actual crack, and then once I get it close, put a little call on here to keep from banging up the finish and then we'll put that one on right there and then I'm going to put another one on right about there so uh, I got to create a little flat spot and I'll show you here in just a second um, this is a cleat it's made out of some spruce uh, from a acoustic top and it'll go in like so and those two should hold it because that crack actually stops right about right there. So uh, now I need some double stick tape and put that on there. I would go through the whole the like and subscribe deal, but you know, a guy that hadn't put a video out in two years. Uh, what I want to do right here is I'm making sure that number one, I can reach where I want it to go. And number two, when I get it in there, it's going to be uh, right where it needs to be right there on that angle. And then gently try to work this thing in there without... Well, that other one went in there just fine. And the audio is probably going to be bad on this because the camera is far away. And well, I may have to do this. Oh, I may have to wait till that one dries. And uh, we'll try it this way. Y'all can't see it, but it's in there, and all I got to do is get some glue down on there. And... I have to put some more glue in here. Please don't. this cleat I made an extra one in case I needed to uh, do it but anyway that's clamped up we're gonna let it sit and then uh, we'll come back and we'll show you the final product all right so uh, everything's dry so we're gonna take these out of here and Like I said, the client doesn't want me to do anything with the finish. So if you wanted to uh, hide that a little bit more, uh, it would be, I mean, refinishing the guitar and uh, 
a little grain filler and it would be fine um and once it was all refinished you probably wouldn't even be able to see it but it is what it is at this point he's happy uh he's coming to get it i'm going to uh take the camera off and bring it around oh almost died so yeah i mean it's it's there uh but you know he's I mean, you know, it's not like it. The thing is in pristine shape, but it's a nice sound of bass and uh, it's not going to break and fall off into the sound hole. I appreciate y'all watching.